my dear students in this video let us discuss tower of hanoi tower of hanoi is a game there are three towers the source tower the temporary tower and the destination tower there will be n disks on the source so initially n number of disks will be there on the source tower these n number of disks should be moved from the source tower to the destination tower and in between you can use temporary also upon the following condition there are some conditions also three conditions are there first condition only one disk can be moved from one tower to another tower you can move only one disk a larger disk cannot be placed on a smaller disk a smaller disk can sit on a larger disk but a larger disk cannot be placed on a smaller disk and the third one only the topmost disk can be moved these are the three conditions with these three conditions if we have to move n number of disks which are initially there on the source tower to the destination tower and in between we can use the temporary tower now let us consider the three towers source temporary destination and initially we will consider n is equal to 1 that is only one disk is there so only one disk is there in the source now this one disk should be moved from source to destination how to move yes and also let us consider the only disk as disk number one yes disk number one disk number one is there on the source we have to move it to the destination how to move just carefully see observe yes one disk disk number one is moved from source to destination so move disk one from s to d that's all only one moment is required yes when there is only one disk one moment is required only one disk is there you move from source to destination that's all now when n is equal to 2 three towers source temporary destination two disks are there disk number one and disk number two let us consider smaller disk as disk number one bigger disk as disk number two now how to move these two disks from source to destination and only one disk can be moved at a time and also you have to move the topmost disk always now just carefully see observe disk number one is moved from source to temporary okay move disk one from s to t next guess what will happen disk number two is moved from source to destination very good move disk two from source to destination next guess observe disk number one is moved from temporary to destination yes move disk number one from t to d now we have moved disks one and two which were there on the source to the destination three moments are there that's all okay so we have seen two examples when n is equal to 1 how to move when n is equal to 2 how to move from source to destination we have seen two examples now straight away we will go to tower of an eye problem using recursion how to solve using recursion let us consider n as the number of disks yes three towers s t d you can just see here these are n minus 1 number of disks and this is the nth disk see totally n number of disks are there we have shown two partitions here n minus 1 number of disks and the other one is the nth disk okay now if n is equal to 0 no moves when n is equal to 0 there are no moves n is not equal to 0 we do the following three steps step number one move n minus 1 number of disks from source to temporary not at once recursively carefully understand move n minus 1 number of disks from source to temporary should we move at once no recursively step number 2 move the nth disk from source to destination step number 3 whatever n minus 1 number of disks are there in temporary move it to destination recursively move n minus 1 number of disks from temporary to destination recursively I'll just demonstrate this. Just observe this. First step. N minus 1 number of disks are moved from source to 
temporary okay step one is over what is step two nth disc should be moved from source to destination yes this is the nth disc it is being moved from source to destination now what is step number three n minus one number of discs which are there on the temporary they are moved to destination but carefully understand this happens recursively the recursive function is as follows tower n is the number of disks source temporary and uh, destination s stands for source t stands for temporary and d stands for destination so if n is greater than 0 n is equal to 0 means there are no disks there are no moves n is greater than 0 you move n minus 1 number of disks from source to temporary yes then print move disk number n from source to destination step number 2 next tower of move n minus 1 number of disk from temporary to destination that's all the uh, tower, tower of an eye function recursively three steps if you remember these three steps writing function also becomes easy and understanding the total concept of uh, tower of an eye also becomes very easy now let us see the working of the recursive function when n is equal to 2 we call tower 2 std meaning two disks have to be moved from source to destination now carefully understand if two disks have to be moved from source to destination we know the three step algorithm first one disk has to be moved from source to temporary and disk number two should be moved from source to destination and one more disk the same disk should be moved from temporary to destination now let us come to this leftmost uh, tower see in the leftmost tower one disk has to be moved from source to temporary that is zero disk should be moved from source to destination disk number one should be moved from source to temporary and zero number of disks should be moved from destination to temporary now this right side tower one disk has to be moved from temporary to destination that is zero disk should be moved from temporary to source disk number one should be moved from temporary to destination and zero disk should be moved from source to destination now leftmost tower since n is equal to zero no moves and this is the first one disk number one is moved from source to temporary and here also no moves so that is over next the second move is disk number two is moved from source to destination again here no moves because n is equal to zero and this is the third one disk number one is moved from temporary to destination and here also no moves therefore this is the tree call tree for tower when n is equal to two now let us see these three movements yes source temporary destination one two so what is the first moment? Disk number 1 should be moved from source to temporary. Initially two disks, 1 and 2 are there on the source, yes. Now you can just see disk number 1 should be moved from source to temporary. Yes, it is moved from source to temporary. Good. What is the second moment? Disk number 2 should be moved from source to destination. Yes. Now just see. Disk number 2 should be moved from source to destination. Very good. Next. What is the third moment? Disk number 1 should be moved from temporary to destination. Yes. 1 should be moved from temporary to destination. Yes. Just observe. 1 is moved from temporary to destination. Yes, with these three moves, yes, definitely the two disks 1 and 2 are moved from source to destination. I think this is uh, quite simple. So, whenever you are asked to write down the call tree, you should be able to neatly draw the call tree for tower. This actually gives you an idea of how actually recursion happens within the tower of RI. Okay, and you try for tower of 3 from source to destination, it will be a big call tree, and whatever moves you get, you try from source to destination, I think you will get more confidence on this tower of an eye recursive function. It is a simple thing. You need to remember the three steps 
I think after that everything becomes very easy. It's a simple recursive program.